Hello, hello, Tatum here. Thank you for joining me. Today I have an upper body strength and toning workout. This workout is going to help you conquer your day-to-day -day tasks and chores with ease and without injury. So grab your dumbbells and let's get to it. All right, hello, hello, Tatum here. Thank you for joining me. Today I have a 40 minute upper body workout with some conditioning. So I've added a little bit of cardio in there to get the heart pumping. Go ahead and start your watch here. I don't know if I would put, I would put more traditional strength training maybe on this one. That's what I'm gonna try today. We're gonna get going. For your equipment, I am using a ball. If you don't have a ball, don't worry about it. We can do this uh, standing, we can do some other things as well. I have a set of two pound weights. So we're talking no weight to like two or three pounds. A set of eight, 10 and 20s for reference. Some of us on that chest press might be able to do a little bit more than 20. I just chose not to get too many weights out. I think a set of 15s would be great today too. Again, just trying to keep it minimal to get the job done. Let's go ahead and move through a little bit of um, diagonal raises. Let's go through our shoulders. We just need to warm up that upper body. We're gonna have a little cardio at the beginning to get the blood going, get the legs in there a little bit too. Good, let's go five more here. Five, four, three, two, and one. I'm feeling a little serious today. We'll see how things go during this workout. Just focused. <laughs> Just like, let's get it in and get it done, right? Okay, we can do that. If you don't need the cardio today, I would use my first cardio here to at least warm up, get the blood flowing. But the end one that we do as a finisher, don't worry about it today, okay? If you're like, man, I ran 18 miles today. Don't know who's doing that crazy kind of stuff, but if you did <laughs> or you are planning on going for a long walk, don't worry about it. Let's go two bumps and a reach. Palms out, good. Two bumps and a reach. Round it out, okay? I don't tell you to do this usually just as our stretch at the end, but let's go ahead and stretch out. Two bumps and a reach. This is a quick warm up, cool down. It'll be about five minutes. We're gonna enjoy this. We're gonna isolate. We'll get everything turned on. It'll be all good. Let's go to the wall here with a wall slide. One of my favorites. We don't do it a much, uh, too often. You can do this from the floor as well if you don't have a wall nearby, but we're gonna bring those elbows to the wall and the back of the hands and the wrists, they're all gonna stay there. So some of us may only be able to move here and keep it against the wall. Some of us may not even get it against the wall. Do the best you can. We need to work on it. If you cannot get your hands and elbows against the wall, talk to me. Send me a message. Let's talk about it. Let's do something about that. We're just sliding up and down here. That's it. See if you can go a little bit further with a few more slides as we stretch out here. Good, let's go three more. Oh, this feels good. Three, <laughs> sure Tatum, two, and one. All right, nice work. Oh, feel that. Let's go ahead. We're gonna come down here to a scorpion. All right, a little bit of a, or sorry. Yeah, let's do scorpion first because I have a dolphin plank, but we'll, we'll do that in a bit. Just tap that leg behind into the chest here and shoulder. That feels good. Roll back and forth here just a bit. Then we'll go into a little bit of a push back here, down dog. We'll see it again later, but that'll warm us up. Side to side, During usually I use this as a stretch at the end, but in the before I work out, I like to just kind of move through it gently and open up the chest and shoulder here. Good job, one more here. Great work. All right, let's come up to a high plank. We're getting close on time here. Draw in. You're gonna see a dolphin plank later on our form. It's gonna be a little bit harder. Let's start high and just warm up and get into that movement of pushing back into the shoulders and the shoulder blades and then back out to plank. We'll start high. We'll make it a little harder. I suppose if the other one is hard, this is an alternative or a modification you can do. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Good. One more for me, out to plank, push back, get those hips up. Now with that plank, drawing that navel towards the spine, let's go ahead and bring it into a little, a little back stroke here, each arm. We're getting close to time. So we're only gonna do a few more here. One more each side, right? and left, okay? We're gonna isolate, we're gonna warm up the rest of these muscles, so I'm not too worried about you. I want you to grab a ball. If you don't have a ball, you can take a kneeling position and work through this. You can stand and bend over, okay? I'm gonna grab my light weights and try to work through this. On the ball, we're gonna go into a little V-raise, okay? And you can put your feet against the wall if that feels better. A little V-raise, 
All right, then we're gonna come out into our T. Notice my thumbs are up. And then with those thumbs still up, we're gonna reach back into that upside down V, okay, or a cobra. So V out in front set of our eyes, out to T. Thumbs are up the whole time, even when we go back into this cobra. Good, V, T, don't rush it, don't swing it as I was trying to do there. <laughs> upside down V. Now we're gonna go into an L raise. So I want you to pull up, see my elbows? Upside down here. And then we're gonna rotate it back and then we're gonna push it out overhead. If that's really tough, don't use any weight at all. Just work through this motion without weight. It's typically what I do for a warm up. Today I'm gonna push it a little, okay? Out, but these are only two pounds, just for reference, okay? Two pounds is all I'm using. Just kinda isolating, we wanna go slow. We don't wanna swing. If I start swinging instead of lifting and moving this weight, I'm not gonna gain anything from it. There you go, last one. And down, nice. All right, put the ball away, we're good there. We're gonna go into a push-up with a T rotation. Here we go, kneeling or toe push-up. Give me a push-up, either with the knee down here, rotate open, or with the knee up. Good, push-up, rotate, open up. Don't rush it, good. We're gonna get plenty of chest in today. We're just kinda waking up the muscles here. It is strength, <laughs> you're feeling it, but we're just waking it up. There we go, keep rotating, knee down if you need to. Good, all right, we're gonna come up now. I want you to grab some lighter weight, not too heavy. I'm gonna go with eights or tens to warm up here, not too heavy. We're gonna go curl to press, so right here, elbows in place, curl, press overhead, extend, triceps. Just kinda getting the arms involved now, right? Just a little isolation on the arms and the shoulders. There you go, biceps, triceps, shoulders, feels good. Work it slow, controlled. Feel those muscles. We're gonna be using a lump, using them throughout the entire workout. Three, two, whoo, and one. Nice work. Here's our plank dolphin. We did that high plank to down dog. You can do that if you want again. Otherwise, find your forearms, and we're just gonna push back and come out to a plank. Push back. A little bit of core in here, so draw in. Squeeze the glutes, push back, good. High plank, push. Push those hips up, that's it. Good, come on, you got it. Three, two, woo, and one, rest. Nice work, all right, that's a tough one again. You can go to a high plank here, back into that dolphin pushing back too, if you want. All right, we're going back to number one. We're gonna do this twice, because I think these are important moves to have good strength on. All right, here we go. On the ball, make a V. Usually I do an I. We're going V, we're going V. We're mixing it up today. Out to that T, and then Cobra. And I'm gonna keep turning those thumbs up, but come back in that upside down V. All right, I like the visual here. V, <laughs> T, and Cobra, or upside down V. Work through this, lift and squeeze. Don't rush as I was starting to do to get a few more in. Give me one more, out to the V, T, Cobra, good job. All right, now here we go, L, externally rotate, press it up overhead, keep it by the ears if you can, nice and slow and controlled here. No weight necessary, it's tough enough, I know, I know. There you go, good, that's it. Woo. We're gonna have time for all this other stuff. We're gonna do some unilateral, like single arm work today. And then we'll go into those compound moves. We have some core in here, cardio, it's all here today. I'm super excited about this. Here we go, three, two, doesn't it feel good though? It's tough, but it's a feel good one. Nice work. All right, push up with that T rotation. So put your equipment away. Again, remember you can do this feeling. There's no reason you can't do this. You can even take the rotation out and just work your push up, okay? Here we go, let me show you knee. We're working. I didn't put any rest in today. Oh, and you can put a knee down here, okay? No rest, we're just moving. We're just gonna keep moving. 
Feels good. That's it. Good work, yes. If you're not accustomed to just doing an upper or lower, it's really great. Three, two, and one to mix it up here and, and isolate. Curl the press to triceps. I'm gonna go with these pens again. Or they can go a lot lighter to control it and get there. We don't wanna tire ourselves out too much as we have a lot more to go. <laughs> Curl, but we're easing in. I don't know about you, no matter what the age, but especially I think about at 35, especially now that I'm in my 40s, mid 40s now, oh boy. I feel like it's, I need a little bit more warm up. I need a little bit more time to get primed and ready to go for my workouts. Good, one more. Up, extend, Whew. keeping those elbows in place back down. Nice work, we have that dolphin plank again. If you want, high plank to down dogs. Here we go, right into it. Again, no rest, just moving. Just moving, feels good. Less stress. <laughs> I'll go this way for you so you can kind of see where my arms are, push back and down. Push in. That's it, good job. Out to level. Try not to sag the hips. If you feel lower back pressure, you might be dropping the hips into a sag. Keep them level to the floor. Three, two, and one. All right. I would say we should we feel fairly warm now. Don't know about you, but I do. Okay, through the shoulders, chest, back area, core's on. Happy about that. We're gonna go, we have a little bit of rest, about 45 seconds, so take a sip of water. Just take it if you wanna fast forward through it, go on to the next. We're gonna go into cardio here real quick. All right, grab a sip of water. All right, so uh, coming up here, we're gonna go into cardio, okay? I just wanna get a little bit of this cardio on, just to bump, uh, bump up the heart rate, especially since we're doing upper body, just to kind of get us flowing and moving and burn some calories. Our first one's gonna be a windmill jack. You can just touch and reach, touch and reach. Or if you want, you can join me in a little bit of a jump, overhead, jump, overhead, okay? Here we go in five, four, three, two, and one. Touch those toes, reach overhead, touch the toes, overhead. Again, remember, no jumping necessary today. This is an upper body workout. I realize a lot of you show up for that to avoid some jumping and bending of the knees and different things that you want to avoid for safety reasons or because you've had a hard leg training day or cardio day. If you're training for some sort of endurance race, I get it. So just touch and reach. You can get that heart rate up, okay? Three, two, and one. We're going right into pulse squat to jump. Again, no need to jump. Pulse to toes, pulse to toes, okay? That's okay today. Good. Pulse, go. Pulse, go. Good. Pulse, go for it. That's it. Three, two, and one. Good. We have spider plank lunges. We're going to jump it side to side. If jumping is that for you, step, step, step. There we go. Three, two, and one. Good. We're moving. Three minutes like this, that's all I'm asking. We're moving. 30 seconds on this exercise, 20 seconds on the second, 10 on that third. So we're up, down, quick. We can do this. Just two rounds. There you go. Reach. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Squat to toes, pulse to jump, okay? A little pulse, reach. Good. Land soft, okay? Try to land soft. If not, I want you to do that pulse to toes. You're gonna see this again at the end, so we're just learning it now and getting that heart rate up. Here we go, plank. Step it wide or jump it. Keep going, come on, it's a short 10. Three, two, and one. Nice work. I guess we're going three rounds, okay? Here we go. I thought we were doing two for a warm up, but three rounds is three minutes. And I remember now deciding that three minutes is a very nice, get the heart rate going, but not tire us out time. If you feel too tired, just rest now. Join us for the strength. 
Here we go. Come on, we got this. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Pulse to jump. Pulse to jump. Good. Pulse and reach. Good. Land soft. You have to land with bent knees, okay? Not stiff legs. Or squat to toes. We got it. Three, two, one. We're down. Here we go. We're jumping those spiders or we're stepping it out. Three, two, one. Woo! All right, we should feel energized, ready to go. Look at my sunlight coming in. I just want to lay down in there. All right, grab a sip of water. Moving on. Now we'll slow it down. We've turned everything on. We have the heart rate up. If you didn't feel like working out before, I hope you're there now. If you're still not there, maybe this isn't your day. Maybe you're feeling too tired. Check your mental state. Check, check your physical state, okay? So, sometimes I feel like I'm not in the mood. Then I get through this piece and I'm like, yeah, let's go. All right, 20 seconds. Let's see, my first exercise, I'm gonna use a 10 uh, on all of this, actually. We have a ball rollout. If you do not have a ball, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna do your plank and you're gonna step your hands out as far as you can go and walk it back in or just hold your plank. All right, grab your weights. I'm gonna use tens here. We're gonna stay with one side. We're gonna go to a little fly here with your weight to a pull over right overhead. Not too heavy, I have tens here. We're talking eights. Tens, I don't know, I could do 15s. I did try, 15s aren't too bad. A little bit harder overhead here. Be very careful. You need good mobility in the shoulder to pull over with heavier weight. That's halfway. Let's leave that right arm in the air now. Work your left. There you go. Pec fly, a little fly to overhead pull over. A little pull over. Good. Chest to back. Oh, yeah. There we go. Knocking it out. A little singles here again. Use the weight. 12s would be perfect, I think. If you own 12s, I do not. You wish I did. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Rest. All right, nice work. That's our singles there. We're gonna go rear flies now, singles two. So right here, one arm. Other, notice that bend in my elbow stays the same. All right, we're kind of pulling back, holding that shoulder blade back. All right, we could do one side here if you want, and then the other, or you can alternate one at a time, okay? Which I think I'm gonna alternate, but that's up to you. I'll tell you when we're halfway. Good, you could even do a supported out to here with one side and then the other, which actually feels really good. I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, I'm the coach, I can change it. Let's change it here. I'm gonna go supported halfway, other side now. There you go, one side at a time. Good work. Try not to swing, try to lift and lower. Less is more. If you're swinging and throwing your body up, we're not really isolating our back here, okay? There you go, come on, we're almost there. Three, two, and one. Oh, that feels good. All right, we're gonna do that roll out. Remember, high plank, step those hands out, get long as you can, and walk it back in. You can even go even further and in, or just hold a plank for me. Everybody else, grab your ball. Hands on top, we're gonna roll out. If you have one of those rollers at home, the little wheel, you can use that to roll out if you can do that safely. The thing I would encourage you to look at is, do you feel lower back pain? Are you dropping down here and arching? Keep those hips up, okay? You shouldn't feel lower back pain on this. Draw the navel in and up, nice and tight. Good job. This can also be done with paper plates, but I didn't bring them out today. Most of us will be safer here. We're halfway, do your best. If this gets to be too much, just hold a plank, hold a plank. Good, that's it. That's it. Roll it out, reach out, okay? You gotta start on the back of the ball and come out over the ball. Some of us will go further than others, that's okay. Do your best, 
Go where you can without dropping those hips towards the floor. All right, nice work. All right, we're back to the beginning. We just have two sets of this, kind of doing this unilateral single side work, making sure we don't have any discrepancies in our strength. So I'm gonna grab my tens again. Here we go. A little fly to pull over. Good, again, I probably wish I had some 15s here today. I should just brought them all out. Here we go. Do your best, just slow it down if your weight's a little light. Slow down. This is a little bit of a, I say fly here. It's a bit of a fly, but you can think of it as a wide press, kind of okay, like you wanna keep that elbow kind of under the wrist, wrist is not out so far. We're halfway, switch to the other side, so open up wide. I kind of like that better than letting that hand fall way out there towards the floor. It's still up somewhat above the elbow, if that makes sense. Let's hug it in, pull it over. Nice work. We may see another variation of this coming up soon that I think I would like even better, but we'll talk about it. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Awesome, we're going for that rear fly again. You can alternate. You could stay here and alternate. I'm gonna go with single. Help me focus a little bit. All right, here we go. Three, two, and one, out to the side. Control it. If you have a chair or something, you can put your hand on, so that's nice. Out to the side. That's it. Don't change that bend in the elbow. It stays the same. Think about pulling back with the shoulder blade there. Oh, that feels so good. All right. <laughs> you're like, you're weird, Tatum. I know. All right, squeeze. There you go. Try to lift and lower with control. This arm is kind of funny. I have some issues. Slow down. There you go. Good. We're going to our core here. Three, two, and one, rest. Oh, feels good. All right, sometimes we just need to work through those. We need to make sure that one side isn't getting weaker as one is getting stronger. So, it may not be your favorite, but that's why I'm here, to make you do those things. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Roll it out over that ball. If you have the ball, otherwise, some sort of high plank or low plank, something with the core holding, okay, for now. Here we go, good. If you have a question, if you want to know about how to do this with paper plates or discs, it's pretty tough. It's kind of why I didn't bring it out. So it's a little crazy, but some of you are there. So let me know. Good, roll out, roll in, out, we're halfway. Good. It's okay if we're not going as far right now. We're just getting comfortable with the instability part and finding our stability. All right, just want you to protect that back. Drawing in and up at the navel and making sure that we're not going too far or that those hips are not sagging. Good, three, two, and one. Woohoo! rest, all right. Easy peasy so far, right? <laughs> all right, we're moving on. We have our compounds, so we're just going to we kind of worked our single sides. We're gonna bring them together, make them work together. Hopefully they're both turned on well. All right, so we have an arc row coming up. I'm gonna use a set of 10s. Some of you will be able to do the 15s or so. I might even use eight just because I'm having a little bit of an elbow issue over here, shoulder. But on that one, say you have your dumbbells. Instead of bending here at 90 degrees and pulling up like we normally do in our row, you're going to make an arc, okay? So we're pulling back. So imagine your pull down here that you might do at the gym with the cable. Same motion, just bent over here with weight, okay? All right, so we have that one. We're gonna do a chest press from your ball or the floor. I might try the ball today, it's been a while, sounds good. And we have a lateral arm raise into shoulders, okay? Here we go, let's grab your weight. I'm gonna try, I might go with eights. I'm gonna go less is more today on this left arm. And we're just gonna pull back, okay? Just because 
I have a little issue. I feel like I start to feel it in the elbow and shoulder more. So I just want to go light. Make sure I'm squeezing on those lats under, under the armpits. And I'm feeling the right muscles here, okay? So just under the armpits, squeeze and pull back. Head in line with the spine. You want to look in the mirror to make sure you have that neutral back. That's fine. But otherwise, head in line with the spine. Three, two, and remember, this would be easy to just swing through, okay? The way we're moving, you want to lift and lower. Chest press, I'm going with my ball. You don't have to go with the ball. You can do this from the floor, okay? Three, two, and one. If you're going to go with the ball, you're going to sit on it, walk it out so your head and shoulders are supported. Keep those hips up, glutes are squeezing and on. Draw the navel in and up. We're nice and tight here. There's a lot of core in this one, which I love. There we go, and a lot of instability. So if you're not comfortable with the ball and we're still working strength and getting used to our weights, no need to go here. Stay at the floor, stay stable, work your dumbbells. Three, two, and one, rest, all right, great job. Lateral arm raise, these are just 30 seconds today, okay? Not long intervals, we're all good. Lateral arm raise, I'm going with my eights for reference. Let's go thumbs up. I like thumbs up, kind of pulls my shoulders back onto that rounded position. Sometimes here we start to pull round forward. All right, just shoulder height here. There you go, lift and lower. That's it, good. Woo, no swinging, just 30 seconds of work. We're gonna do three rounds, so we'll be good with this, no worries. Three, two, and one, good. Rest. All right, we're back to those arc rows, okay? Pulling back here, notice that arc, my elbows stay the same. So we could also end up doing this, which is a tricep extension. Keep it fixed in place, okay? All right, love coaching, love coaching. All right, hopefully I'm helping you. See that? Good, so this is the arc row. Pulling back, I want you to squeeze under the armpits. We did a pull over already, but from overhead down into the lats, okay? Good, now we're bent over, still getting lats. We did singles, now just doubles. There we go. We got this, three, two, and one rest, all right, nice work. Chest press again, I'm going from the ball. No need to do the ball if you're not there, okay? It is a lot of instability. Getting used to the ball takes some time. Head to the floor, here we go. If you are on the ball, hips are up, head and neck are supported. And we're going, everybody, we're working. Just 30 seconds. So with 30 seconds, we either find some heavier weight or we try to take the pause out of it. Sometimes we pause at the top and we hold before we go again. We just want to keep moving through this. So as soon as I fully extend up, I'm going to come right back down to it, not allow myself to rest at all, getting as many reps in as we can. Three, two, and one. Good. Nice work. All right, lateral arm raises. Thumbs up towards the ceiling. Three, two, and one. Here you go, out to the side. Good job, lift and lower. Now listen, sometimes, and I'm guilty, my ego gets in the way. I'm better working out on my own than, <laughs> yeah, it's there, I'll admit it, but sometimes we want to pick up that heavier weight and we start to override the delts and we're swinging and we're putting all kinds of other strength, not strength, momentum into it. So go, go lower. I guarantee if you slow down, you'll realize you need um, less weight, okay? All right, good job. Moving on again, back to that arc row. I used eights. I'm gonna try tens on this one and see how that elbow and shoulder feel. Three, two, and one, here we go, arc row back. I think because I turned on those lats and I really focused there, it feels good, I can do it. All right, so another thing to pay attention to, we should not feel pain or work through pain. Lighten your load, see if you can focus on the muscle we're trying to use, see if you can take that out. If not, don't do it, talk to me. Here we go. Three, two, and one, woo, all right, good job. 
chest press. You got this, we're almost there. Not too bad. Some of you are looking for something more intense. I get it. Three, two, and one, head and neck on. Sometimes we just need to slow down again. Here we go, hips are up, glutes are on if you're on the ball. And we're not resting, we're pushing. We're cranking it out here, up, down. Just keep moving, moving those weights. Good job, good job, you got this. It's a short amount of time. Let's not rest or pause if we don't have to. Depending on what you're doing there. How you feel today? Three, two, and one. All right, I don't know about you, but it's adding up. That's good, third round. If you need a fourth today, take it a fourth. Take it by reps. See if you can go a fourth round and do more reps. Three, two, and one. I challenge you, no. <laughs> All right, out to the side, shoulder height and down, control. All right, nice and controlled. Each direction, so many people just drop their weight here. They think the only way to get strong is to lift it here and then just drop it. There's so much strength to be gained when you start to lower your weight. So don't neglect that. Don't go too heavy and throw momentum into it. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Three, two, and one. Great job. All right, team, you've done awesome. That's it with the arms so far. We're gonna go back to our uh, cardio, okay? I wanna get that heart rate up because a lot of times in upper body, we don't have a super heart, high heart rate unless we're just getting started, okay? so. Up to you if you don't have time and you know you're gonna go out for a walk or a jog or do something very physical and active later, you don't really need this part. This is what I love about upper body. And it gives us a day to gain strength, build some muscle, but not have to overdo it. We can have that down day. Where we're still doing something good for our body, but it doesn't feel like we're exhausting ourselves, okay? So think about that. It's important to have those days. It's okay, we will survive. <laughs> All right, 15 seconds to go. We're back to cardio, so do we remember? We're gonna do our cross jacks, our little windmill. We're gonna go with our pulse to jump, okay? And then we have our, um, oh, spider lunges, okay? Three, two, and one, here we go. Side side, remember this is 30 seconds, our second one is 20, and our third is 10, and we're moving right into the next one. So we have to move quickly, but now we've got it, and we will, and we'll have three rounds. Up overhead, good. No jumping necessary. Swing, reach. Okay, just work hard and fast and with intention. It's all good. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Pulse it out. Just a little pulse and then a reach to jump. Okay, pulse. Go for it. Remember, we have to land soft and we could go to this toes and back down. Toes, we could just pulse here if we don't want to do any kind of raise, okay? Good, Woo. here we go, we're down. All right, we're jumping it out. If you're there or tapping it out or just do a regular mountain climber down the middle, it's your day, make it your own. We're back up, here we go team. Whoops, wide together, wide to pencil. <laughs> there you go, Woo. or rocket, that sounds better. Sounds more powerful. <laughs> More impressive. <laughs> Good work. Ten seconds. Whoo! Here we go. Three, two, and one. Pulse and go high. Pulse. Get some height. Land soft. Whoo! That pulse adds something else in there. You can take it out and just work on your jump if you want. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Step wide or jump. Three, two, one. Last round, team. Let's do it. Cross, reach, cross, reach, cross, reach. Yeah. I'm excited doing it today. I will say I had a very long run today. And having this little workout here, totally doable. And if I wasn't here with you being encouraged to work through, I would probably go ahead and say no cardio other than the beginning. Right here, I would leave this off. So you can do the same. Here we go. Pulse. 
jump, pulse, jump, or pulse to squat, pulse, pulse to squat to toes, make it your own, eight seconds, we have to be able to land with soft knees, okay, three, two, and one, down, here we go, 10 seconds, it's quick, if we don't get down there, it's over before we know it, three, two, and one, cool down, let's see right here, all right, <laughs> let's let that heart rate go. Let's bend those toes and sit back on our heels if it feels okay. If not, stay up high. I'm gonna bend back, get a little stretch here in the toes, the ankles. I can even feel it on my quads today, okay? Breathe in, in through the nose. Let's bring it down and out, exhale. Good, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this workout. I hope you enjoyed slowing it down a bit working on our upper body strength. You know, a lot of us lack upper body strength. That's the one thing that I get my clients telling me mostly, because if you walk and you're running and you're doing other things physically, you're getting a lot of lower body in there, you still want strength on that lower body. Guarantee the hips and stuff are not as strong. But that being said, a lot of our upper body, we just don't do things today that encourage us to use our upper body in a way that builds strength. So don't neglect it, don't forget about it. One more in, one more out, great job. All right, let's go ahead, cross our legs, have a seat. If you're there, maybe legs out in front. We're gonna stretch out that shoulder. Sorry about my mic here. I'm gonna move it as you guys, but it's not making too much noise. Stretch it out here, shoulders down, cross the body. Good work. We'll just stay at the floor. Oh, breathe deep, in and out. Other side. Breathe in and out. Love the sun coming in. Love it. Here we go. Cross here. Uh, grab your shoulders and back here. And then we're just going to give ourselves a little hug and reach those elbows up and down. Up and down. All right, let's go ahead and bring that right uh, ear to right shoulder. Let's bring that other arm out, or left arm out, right hand on top of the head. Just a little gentle pressure, not too far here. Find your breath. You can even look down and away with this hand, kind of that direction. Ooh, good. Other side. Left ear to left shoulder, just a little pressure. Don't pull, tug. Don't go too far. Palms out towards the knee. Look down now a little bit. Look down and away. You can play with the position of your neck where you feel the best stretch. Woo! All right. Let's come to our feet. We're going to go bottoms up here. So I want you to push your hips up. Arms out front, like we're gonna do a little child pose, but I want the bottom to go up towards the ceiling. Then I want that chin to drop towards the floor. It may not go all the way, that's okay. See where you can go with it, just stretching the chest here, okay? Instead of wrapping behind today, let's just go push down towards the floor here. You want three deep breaths into your nose, out through your mouth. We did all those pullovers today. Now we are going to bring our toes together, shoot our knees out wide, bottom back. I'll show you on this side, we're going to bring our hands all the way over as far as we can go outside that knee. If you're there, you're going to bring that left hand on top, and we're just going to fall here between the arms as much as we can. I want you to feel that stretch along the armpit, under the armpit here, down the side. Find your breath, three breaths. Possibly one of my favorite lat stretches here. Good. 
Yeah, we're gonna walk it to the other side. Same thing, we're running out of time here, team. Right hand on top of left. Try to press down through the floor here, but don't go too far. Find that little bend, feel that stretch all down the side here. Three, two, and one. All right, team, that's it today. That's a good 40 minutes. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this workout. Again, don't forget to have high days and low days. Stay consistent. Having these days that aren't as intense and wipe us out allows us to keep moving. Even if you were sore from yesterday in your upper body, you could do this workout by taking it lighter and working through it, okay? thinking about volume and just being consistent. Thank you so much again. I look forward to seeing you next time. I'm excited about our next one, but I'm not gonna give it away. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.